So we've got a canvas with um, some black gesso, which is already dried. Thin coat of liquid clear all over. If there's people joining for the first time, hello. Maybe check out my uh, videos. Really working this into the canvas. There we go. All right, okay, so that's that done. Some crimson, just a little bit. Indian yellow. Take a bit there. Um, there we go, we've got some Indian yellow on the brush and we're just going to put this right in the middle so you can see where that yellow is just really sort of get that going about let's just put i don't know just some dabs here and there see what that looks like i'll go into the crimson and i'm going to put this all up here all the places where i didn't go really with the we we'll go over them little bits dotted. Little strike of, I don't know, whew, down the bottom. Something like that. Good. Well, going into the um, that yellow with my crimson on the brush, and I'm just going to go sort of down here. I'll make sort of a, an orangey sort of colour together. Just going to go something like pull that colour down there. There we go. And again. Just a dab of that sort of orange here and there. That's crimson and yellow together. We're just dotting that about any old house. A bit. We'll see how this comes out, I guess. Crimson, crimson and sort of yellowish sort of colour. Got some white, let's, let's just get a fan brush and we'll put some colour about. I don't know, let's come down here. I'm just putting this on any old towel ready. Yeah, let's go some, just put some patterns on. Let's just do some things here and there. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay, I'm gonna start down the bottom here and just sort of pull this up. We should get some nice sort of colors. I can brighten this up here and there as well. Going into that crimson as well. We're going to brighten up some some colours here. I think definitely. Let's go pull this out. Let's do a bit of a bright bit here. That's it. See, adding that white, you can add some brighter places. Let's pull that right up. Nice, isn't it? Nice to try some different colours. Let's just brighten up an area. I'm not particularly bothered what it looks like. Maybe something like this. Just so it's bright around there. There we go, got a little sort of brighter spot there. I've just got the ref, the, ref, the rest of this colour here with a little tiny bit of black so it's got the crimson the yellow. Look it's making an intro it looks like earwax. Well actually yeah it is kind of that colour if it's put thin and <laughs> nice eh? It don't smell like it. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of white to this colour. That's it look gonna make this sort of streaky. Let's just see what this colour looks like here. It's like a brownish sort of colour. I want this sort of this I was just I don't know I can just sort of see a little bit of a mountain here so we're just gonna go just above the lights there. Maybe it goes like that. Just pull this colour down. This will be distant and have some different stuff in the front of this. I think I'll add a little bit of glow. Let's just see what this gives us. I don't want this bright white or anything. It could go like this. We could sort of do that. We just bring this one down here. I'm gonna bring this one round, I think. Bring that down. Maybe 
comes down towards us there. Bring that one down like that. And we'll join them together. Some wraparound mountains. Bring them sort of together. Swoop these out. Bring these together. Put some darker colours on there. The colour that I made. We're just going to make this a little bit darker in here. Pull that in there. But yeah, we got a little bit there. I want to soften. Drag this up there. Drag. There we go. Just I want some dark in there. Drag this. Oh, that's nice. Creating like a little bit of mist. Just blend all this in together there. Another little fan brush. This is just coming along. Oh, I wish I had some trees. Let's have a little patch over here. distant trees. I'm just worried about what the tops look like here. Not, I'm just going to lift up here and just create some little tree tops. Let's just tap this and make that very faint. A little bit higher. A little layout I think there. Just tap in that dark colour again. lift up a little bit here yeah I think what we'll do is we'll come along maybe sort of from here and do a nice little bit of land that lives there shop on them there we go look at that just a little bit I don't want to kill all them mountains but we're gonna go like this Bring that up, mix this up. Whatever. Don't all have to be trees, you know, you can have little bushes and stuff there. So I'm gonna try and make some water here. Let's just pull this down to begin with. Now watch the water. This will turn into water. Before your very eyes. A water effect. Okay, that's quite nice. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Maybe it sort of comes there, there's a bit there. Something like that. I'm gonna fill all this up. Wherever your brush takes you. Now we're going to come down here, pull these colours down to make our reflections in the water. There we go. I think I might do the water line now. Just by adding that little water line. I hope everyone managed to get a little glance at the website. Um, come and check out what paintings and prints I've got for sale. And if you fancy a print of a painting on there, there is the option to order a print of any painting if you want just a print. So go and check that out. Lives here. Blend them out a little bit. And here's the signature. There we go, there is painting 286. So there we go. Got the colour of the water there. Mountains look pretty cool. Different mountains. And that tree against the light, I think that was nice. If there was a place for a tree, I think that was it.